lessons for today is about defining failure so before I um, share a story uh, you should read uh, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 24 34 according to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 33 to 34 who through faith out of weakness were made strong let's begin the story during the great depression many people in the u.s live in shanty towns made up of plywood tarps and blankets these discrepant dwellings known as ubergelis house those who has been evicted from their homes many blame president herbert hoover for the economic coups ironically Hoover's apparent ineffectiveness as a leader was in sharp contrast to his previous record. Earlier, Hoover's expertise in geological engineering led to successful mining projects in Australia and China. He also effectively spearheaded humanitarian efforts. But when the stock market crashed in October 1929, President Hoover was in circumstances beyond his control. He would be forever tied with the economic depression of the 1930s. One major fiasco, however, does not mean one's whole life is a failure. What if we remembered Abraham only as a deceiver? According to Genesis chapter 12, verse 10 to 20, Moses as disobedient to God, Numbers 20. Um, verse 1 to 13 or David as a murderer in 2 Samuel chapter 11 despite their sins these men are remembered for their persevering faith who through faith out of witness were made strong that's from Hebrew chapter 11 verse 33 to 34 to end this story our life is not a failure if we repent, repented of our sins. How can still use us to serve Him? That's according to Dennis Fisher. And according to Dr. Dehaan, the lessons we learned from our failures are lessons that help us succeed. And if we are wise and we hit them, then failure is just what we need and success often rises out of the ashes of failure thank you for listening hope um, it give you a lesson for this see you soon and god bless you all stay safe always Breathe.